Hi everybody, my name is Danny and I'm usually the facilities coordinator uh, at the Capitol Hill Arts Workshop in addition to being the head of the theater department. Um, but since the building is closed for the time being, I thought I'd come to you today with uh, something fun that you can do with your parents or your family uh, here in the kitchen. So today I'm going to be showing you how I like to make grilled cheese. So the first thing we want to do whenever we do anything in the kitchen is make sure we wash our hands. Of course, this is uh, doubly important uh, now that we're trying to avoid spreading any type of germs. So to start, you want a clean workstation. I use a cutting board. Then you need some unsalted butter, some bread, and any type of cheese that you might have at home. This cheese is already shredded, but you can use sliced cheese if you've got it. I also add some mustard to my grilled cheese. If you don't like mustard, you can definitely leave this out, but it gives it a nice little zing. Next you'll need a skillet, a spatula, and some type of pot lid that's big enough for the skillet. So the reason I love this grilled cheese recipe so much is because you mix a little bit of cheese in with the butter that goes on the outside of the bread. I'm using butter that's already been soft, so I left it out on the counter for a few hours, and I'm just taking about two tablespoons of soft butter and mixing it with some shredded sharp cheddar. So this is going to make sure that the outside of the bread is crispy and cheesy. I just use my hands, but usually that's about maybe a tablespoon or two tablespoons of cheese. And I mix it all together with a fork so that the cheese and the butter are nice and incorporated. This can take a few minutes. Just make sure that all the cheese and butter are mixed together. Next, you want to take the bread, stack it together, and with a knife, use that cheesy butter to spread on the outside of both pieces of bread. This is the side of the bread that's going to touch the hot pan. You can skip this step if you want to, but this is when I take my knife and I wipe it off and I just put a little bit of mustard on the inside of one of the slices of bread. So I'll just get the mustard right on the knife and flip one of my pieces of bread over so I have the inside and just spread a nice thin layer of mustard. So make sure you have an adult help you with this. You want to turn on your stove underneath your skillet and let the pan get hot for just a minute or two. Then you want to take your bread that has your mustard on it and put that in the pan with the cheesy butter side down. Then I'm just going to start putting my different cheeses right on the slice of bread. I've just got some extra sharp cheddar cheese, some regular cheddar, the same cheddar that I used on the buttery outside of the bread, and I've also got some shredded mozzarella. You can use any type of cheese if you've got jack cheese or provolone or American cheese. Pretty much any cheese will work, it just depends on then how long you cook it to make sure that it gets nice and melty. I'm going to take my other slice of bread and put it right on top with the buttery cheesy side up. You can see underneath the flame is going. Now I'm going to take my lid 
and I'm going to put it right over that bread so that the heat gets trapped. I'm going to leave it here in the pan for about three or four minutes, just watching it to see that cheese melt. And when I lift it up, it should be a nice sizzle. I'm going to take my spatula and just sort of scooch any bits of cheese that may have fallen in the pan. So those go right up against my bread. And then I'm going to press the bread down just so that some of the cheese can start to stick to the top piece. And after that, I'm going to carefully slide my spatula underneath the sandwich and flip it all over. Ooh, you can see some of the cheese fell out of the middle. I'm just going to nudge it back against the bread. And I'm going to put my pot lid back on top so that the heat keeps making that cheese melt. I'm going to flip it over and you can see that one side has gotten nice and toasty and cooked. And then I'm going to put it back on my cutting board and make sure you turn off your stove and make sure you have an adult help you with that. And that's my grilled cheese recipe. Hope you guys have fun making it and uh, enjoy some delicious grilled cheese.